Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to Monday, June the 3rd. Can you believe it? It's June already. The year is ripping right on past. Today, it's bright and sunny outside. It's an easy day to want to win today, but today I want to talk to you about how to find and have the will to win. We're going to talk about that right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Good morning, good morning, happy Monday to all of you. Hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, doesn't matter. Do what Jessica's done already. Leave a comment, say hi, say good morning, say, man, those birds are loud. Whatever, whatever works for you. Just uh, leave that comment, let me know that you're there. Those are always encouraging for me to receive. And I always get some great feedback from you guys as well. And if, and only if, you get value out of our time together today, be sure to leave those thumbs up, hearts, likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching. I like those too. All right, so today we're talking about, and I've got notes today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this without staring at my notes, but we'll, we'll see how that works out. So this week I want to talk, kind of the theme for the week is do what you need to do even when it scares you. Do what you need to do even when it scares you. And yesterday, uh, I, I made a post on Instagram. I love this quote from uh, Mark Twain. It says, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. And you guys know, I mean, I, I really like, I've used for probably going on a decade, this moniker of the unashamed nonconformist. I am not at all about being any any kind of conformity <laughs> but here's really why I do that right I mean this is really kind of the crux behind that idea is that there are scripts that as a society we've written these scripts that says this is what you're supposed to do right you're supposed to you're supposed to graduate high school go to college get a master's degree, get a good job, work for 30, 40 years, and live the high life. That's the script. That script is broken. So why? This is, so it's, it's easy to be a conformist because everybody's doing it. Right? That's kind of Mark Twain's point here. When everybody's doing it, you really ought to stop and take a look at it. So, but today, so today's topic is more about in that context, where do you find the will to win, right? When you have to go against the grain, where do you get the, the oomph to do that? Because that's hard. I mean, I know it's hard. And I'm the unashamed nonconformist. But it, it, in many respects, it comes back to this thing we talk about a lot here, which is, your definition of success, your vision of the future, and having that out front instead of the acceptance or the approval of everybody else out front. When you make decisions based on what everybody else thinks, right? <coughs> Prevailing wisdom, you know, I, what does that mean? Best practices, what does that mean? That means that somebody has defined this set of activities and they're not going to cause me to fail, probably. Okay, are they going to cause me to succeed? Nope, but they're not going to cause you to fail. Okay, I mean, to get something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. That, by definition, involves some risk, right? So... You know, our, our quote today is from Paolo Coelho, who wrote The Alchemist, which if you haven't read The Alchemist, highly recommend it. Uh, it's a good read, short read, uh, lots of good stuff in it. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Joe. You guys are awesome. Life has many ways of testing a person's resolve. 
Let me move this so I can read this. Not resolve will. Life has a way of, of testing a person's will, either by having nothing happen at all or having everything happen at once. Isn't that the truth? You work and work and work and nothing happens, and then what happens? <laughs> it all happens. There was this great, great, great UPS commercial years and years ago. Back during the in the dot com heights of the dot com where these people were huddled around the computer and they clicked the button and said, Okay, and our website is live. And then a few seconds later, you know, ding, hey, they got a sale. They were all happy. Ding ding ding. Hey, we're doing really good. Ding 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 ding. And then they started freaking out. You know, how how are we gonna handle all this? All of this, whether good or bad, whether thick or thin, there's a car in the parking lot. Whether whether you are responding to sparse times or flush times, if you use if the gauge for success is what you have defined as success, rather than the script that everyone else has written and is promoting for you, much easier to get through those times. And that will to win, you know, I, I described this in, uh, I think it was Instagram post this morning, about there are going to be days where you get up and you just don't want to get up. Eh, that's a tough day. Maybe yesterday was tough, you get up and you start today off tough and it turns into a tough day and then you string together two or three tough days and you're like, crap, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Well, that's where the will to win really kicks in, right? And by having that draw, if if all that that motivates you is the approval of other people, all it takes is one person to be a naysayer, and all that is shot. It's you know it's like this kind of running joke in the in the creator space here. Don't read the comments, right? <laughs> I mean. Because there's some negative stuff in the comments from everyone. Yeah, Catherine's got a great point. If you let other people define the steps in your life, you're giving them control of your life. Why would you do that? You define where you're going. You define the path you're going to take to get there. And then be accountable to yourself. Much easier. And this applies, love. I've talked about this this morning in the context of personal success but it, it applies in the context of your business also there's a, a whole set of, of <coughs> um, expected steps well just throw those out the window I, i've talked about mckenzie who is you know my coaching client recently won an alabama launch pad her pitch i watched six pitches that day hers was not like any of the others one of these things is not like the others, right? Who won? It was, it was different. It was, it didn't follow the pattern, but it conveyed passion and emotion and a plan, right? I like that. Passion, emotion, and a plan. Pep. That's how to get pep in your step. Passion, emotion, and a plan. I'll have to remember that. All right, I'm going to wrap it up right there today. Don't let someone else's definition of success. That's why I used to tell the kids all the time. Don't let the person in the car behind you drive your car. You drive your car, right? Don't let somebody else's definition of success drive your actions. You drive your actions. Decide where you want to go, make a plan to get there, and then put some pep in your step and get there. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back here with you again tomorrow with another installment. Well, you know the name of the show. Seven minutes in the morning. Take care. Oops, wrong button. Come on, button. There we go. That was the right button. I just wanted to acknowledge that. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>